Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today we're just going to run through a cool down. So it's really important to cool down after you've done your exercise. So we want to lower the heart rate back down to normal level. And it's a really good time to do some flexibility work because your muscles are warm. So it's going to be about 5-10 minutes and we'll just run through. So assuming that you've already done your exercise, we're going to start just with a very light march on the spot. So remember, you've done the hard work, so just relax the shoulders, keep your chin up off the chest, and just breathe. Okay, so just taking it really easy, and the aim is to get our heart rate back to normal level, and hopefully get your breathing just a wee bit lighter. Okay, so this can be really up to about five minutes or so, generally, in a class situation. Yeah, and if you feel you need to march a little bit longer, just take it easy and you can pause the video now. Now I'm going to move on to some stretches. Okay, so first one, you want your feet about shoulder with the heart, hands to the lower back, elbows in and then push forwards against the lower back. Keep your chin up off the chest and by applying pressure to the lower back, keeping the elbows in, you're going to stretch around the chest and the shoulders. Yeah, just a side view. So hands to the lower back and push them forward. And knees up. Then we want to open the hands up, join them together, flip forwards, so we push forwards, elbows out and then tuck your chin down. So when you're stretching, you're looking to hold it for about a minimum of 15 seconds and it could go up to anywhere near a minute. The longer you're holding it, the more you're going to work on your flexibility to progress it. And if you're doing it for around 15 seconds, you're probably looking at maintenance. And these up. Then we're going to move down uh, to the trunk. So take your left hand back behind you. Take your right hand to your left hip and then look over your left shoulder. Now stand up tall when you do this stretch. So you're going to feel this probably around the back and you might feel the size of your stomach too. You don't need to go too far, just go to where you feel the stretch and these up. And we'll go right hand behind the body, left hand to your right hip and again try and look over your shoulder. So some of you might be able to get a wee bit further around the knee, some of you not as far, and that's okay, you just stretch to your limit. And knees up. Then we're going down to the legs. So if you've got a wall next to you, you can hold on, and if you've got a chair, hold on to that. We're going to stretch the muscles at the front of the leg, front of the thigh. So first option, you pull your heel up, your heel up. Second option, hold on to your trouser leg. Or the hardest option would be to hold on to your feet. Now for this one, you want your knees together. From there, if you want to make it harder, you can pull your knee back and then try and push your hip forward. But keep that good tall posture. Okay, and you should feel that right at the front of the thigh. Plan these up and then we'll switch over. So again, remember your options. The first option, you're up at a right angle at the knee. Slightly harder, you need to hold on to your trouser leg. And then the hardest option would be to bring your knees together, stand tall, and then from there you can pull your knee back slightly and push your hip forward. Okay, so this is a great one to stretch the muscle in the front of your thigh. And knees up. Then we're going to stretch the muscles, the calf muscles, so lower legs, two hands on the chair or you can have them on the wall. Take your feet back behind you, I've got both feet pointing forwards, I straighten my back leg and I lean forward by bending in front of you. And keep trying to push your heel into the floor, that's the back heel. And just please do that. 
hands up, and we'll switch over, so swap legs, so again, both feet point forward, straighten your back leg, and then lean forward by bending the front knee. It's just to say, minimum 15 seconds, maximum, you're probably looking up to a minute. And knees up. Okay, and then we're going to finish off with a hamstring stretch. And so I always recommend doing this seated where you can. And lucky for me, I've got a chair. It's almost as if it's planned. So I'm going to do side on here. Now, forwards to the front of the chair. You're going to take your foot forwards. So you're on your heel with your toes up. Two hands on your knee, your opposite knee, chest up. And then lean forwards from the hips. And you're going to feel a good stretch at the back of the leg. Okay, so think for the hamstrings, uh, you're better doing it seated because if you do this standing, you're relying quite a lot on the other leg. Especially after you've done the exercise, your legs are probably quite tired. And he's up, switch over. So, other leg, you're forward onto your heel with your toes facing up. Two hands on the bent knee, chest up high, and then lean forward from the hips. And then just breathe here. And if you feel it easing up, you might be able to lean a little bit further into it. And just make sure you're keeping up tall. And lease up. Okay, so relax there. Now give your arms a shake out, legs a shake out. Maybe we'll just take a couple steps in the squat. Hands up. So that is us done our cool down. Um, we lowered our pulse back to normal level and then we did some stretching for each other. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much.